Good morning, this is Sue Stewart and I'll be um, sharing an international education workshop on pickling vegetables. What is pickling? Pickling is a process of preserving vegetables or extending the shelf life of food by fermentation using a brine or immersion in vinegar. The acidity of the solution alters the flavor and texture of the food while favoring the growth of desirable benign bacteria and also preventing the growth of harmful bacteria like the one that causes botulism. And fresh is best when pickling vegetables. Pickles should be made from young fresh vegetables, vinegar and fresh whole spices and herbs. And the vegetables should be free from bruises and blemishes. And great tasting pickled products are the result of quality ingredients, proper proportions, and following recipes carefully. You can pickle most vegetables, including cucumbers, that's very popular, green beans also, peppers, okra, turnips, carrots, asparagus, cauliflower, you name it, you should be able to um, pickle it. And select vegetables that are nearly the same size and cut or slice them the same size so that the pickling brine penetrates the pickles uniformly. And be sure to clean the vegetables thoroughly. Soil or any soft spots may contain bacteria, which can cause the pickles to spoil. And when you have an abundance of fresh homegrown vegetables, pickling vegetables is a good option to avoid food waste. The ingredients. There's not very many ingredients um, used in um, some pickle recipes and the video demo that I'll be sharing will be the quick method and um, the recipe I made just had four ingredients. Salt is one of the ingredients. Salt for pickling should be pickling salt, also known as canning salt, a pure granulated or rock salt that has no iodine added. And for my recipe in my demo today, I use um, Hawaiian salt. I use the, um, the red alai salt. The iodine and table salt will darken pickles and plain non-iodized table salt may be used, but it contains anti-caking agents, which may make the brine cloudy. The vinegar. The vinegar must have an acidity of 5% for pickling. The strength of vinegar is usually shown on the label and cider vinegar can give a fuller, more richly flavored pickle, but it will also add some color to the pickle. If a lighter colored product is desired, as with pickled onions, white distilled vinegar should be used. Cider vinegar imparts a mellower taste and white vinegar is a sharper taste, but both can serve equally well for pickling. Using the exact amount of vinegar called for in your recipe is critical for the quality and flavor of the pickles. And if the brine or pickling syrup tastes too sharp, do not increase the amount of the vinegar, but instead add more sweetener until the taste is just right. And in my demo for the pickled vegetables, I just use um, the white um, distilled vinegar. And the other two ingredients in my um, demo today is sugar and water. Some pickled recipes don't call for sugar, um, but this one did and um, I just use regular um, white sugar. Okay, and there are two ways to pickle, quick pickling versus water bath pickling. Quick pickling is a fast and simple process, as simple as putting your vegetables in a pickling solution and waiting for a little bit. Quick pickles, is also known as refrigerator pickles, will last for several weeks to several months in the refrigerator. And this process is best for pickles that you know you'll be eating and enjoying within a short period of time because they will lose their crunch the longer they remain in the brine. And the other method is the boiling water bath method. With this process, jars of prepared food are heated 
in a boiling water bath for a specific amount of time. And food that is processed correctly and stored properly should be safe for a year. And once the food has been opened, you, you would refrigerate as you would any other fresh food. But I think the boiling water bath method is a little bit more um, time consuming and I prefer the quick method. It was just a little quicker and simpler. Oops. Okay, and the supplies. When making pickles, it's best to use non-metallic utensils because metals will react with acids or salts used and cause undesirable color and taste changes in the pickles, making them not very great to eat. In this workshop, I'll be sharing with you a few videos, the mixed pickled vegetable, which is a quick pickling method, and then a, a smashed cucumber salad. That's not really a pickling, but my original thought was as having a demo on the smashed cucumber salad, but after talking and um, figuring out, I thought smashed cucumber salad is really simple. It wouldn't take much time. So I thought, oh, well, I'll just include this mixed pickled vegetables um, video um, that it's a recipe that I got from my mom. And I think she may have gotten it from an FCE cookbook a while ago. Um, and she's made this um, very often and people seem to like it. Okay, so now I'll be sharing the um, mixed pickled vegetable video. Okay, Rich, how do I stop this? Stop share. Oh, stop share. Okay, stop share. Okay, so go here. Go back to get rid here. of this. You gotta, oh, how do I escape? Escape, okay. okay close PowerPoint. Close. Yeah, no. I do that. Okay, and then this one, yeah. Share screen first. Oh, yeah, share screen. Okay. okay. And then no, select the video. This one. Oh, oh no, this is the wrong one. Sorry. No, this is both of them. Oh, oh, this, this one, one, this one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> A workshop on some recipes for pickled vegetables. The first one will be mixed pickled vegetables. Good morning, this is Sue Stewart, and I am doing my international workshop on some recipes for pickled vegetables. The first one will be mixed pickled vegetables, and the second one will be on the smashed cucumber um, salad. Uh oh, what happened, Rich? Uh, the first one will have ingredients of a sauce with boiling water. And I've got the water boiling here. Four cups boiling water, two cups vinegar, three cups of sugar, and eight teaspoons of Hawaiian salt. So we'll mix this and until it's all dissolved, and then we will pour it over the chopped vegetables. And for side purposes, I've already chopped the vegetables. And since I don't have a gallon jar, um, I cut up um, vegetables for a total of 16 cups around there. And the recipe um, has some um, suggestions of what kinds of vegetables to use, and um, you can adjust it to your preferences. And we like it with lots of cauliflower, so I put uh, in a lot of cauliflower. So for this recipe, I have one cup of daikon put in this um, bowl, one cup of celery. A cup of, oh no, one and a half cup of bell peppers, two cups of carrots, six 
six cups of cauliflower. Two cups of onion. This is about three and a half cups of cucumber. And I use the English cucumber and I also found some um, small tiny baby cucumbers like this. And so I thought we're gonna try that. So we'll put all of those in the bowl there, get it ready. And when this um, sauce is fully dissolved and comes to a little boil, then we'll pour it immediately over the vegetables. And then we have to refrigerate it. And refrigerating the vegetables immediately um, after pouring in the hot sauce will help keep the vegetables crunchy. So I will stir this until it um, comes to a slight boil and then we'll pour it over the vegetables uh, and then put it into the refrigerator. Okay, the sauce is all ready now. The sugar and salt has dissolved. And now I'm gonna pour it into the um, bowl of vegetables. Okay. And then I'll just give it a little um, stir around. And then I will immediately put this in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes half an hour and then we'll take it out and then um, put it into jars. The vegetables have been in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes and now it's time to put the vegetables into containers. I will be using some jars but feel free to use uh, whichever container you'd like, Tupperware container um, or whatever and I like to use a, a tongue to help put the vegetables into the jar. Just fill it all up. And then we'll put the sauce in with the ladle after. My mom has been making this recipe for many years and Everybody seems to like it. And she mentioned it may, she may have gotten this recipe from an SCE cookbook. There, and we will fill it up with some sauce. Okay, we'll put the sauce. Then you like to fill it up till about which is after the jar. Oh, hey, Mitch. Yeah. Afterwards, you need to go back to the um, PowerPoint. Because I have some other recipes and whatnot I want to share. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put the lid on and it all set over here. Oh, okay. Vegetables. Hope you enjoy this recipe and we'll enjoy the mixed pickled vegetables. Thank you. Okay, now I have to, and I will stop sharing. Yeah. Okay, that was one video. And then I have another um, oh, video. How to make the smashed cucumber salad. Okay, so share screen. And then this one, yeah? Yeah. How come? Oh no, I just have to come. Okay, it's not coming. Oh there. Okay, and then I do play. Play this one. Okay, so I'm gonna put the sauce in the bowl here. Okay, so I'm gonna put the sauce in the bowl here. Try, when you Hello, click, use yeah. the bottom corners there. The second recipe the will be smashed cucumber salad with spicy kombucha dressing. I will start by preparing the cucumbers by
but I'll use um, uh, I had to unmute right, again. Um, the right because we just want to um, smash the cucumber. Okay, I'm using a English cucumber and a regular cucumber. And we just want to smash it. We'll get a little messy. Take out your frustrations. That's pretty good because it's a craft. And we'll do the other one. I like the common slurry for it. I haven't seen this one before. Okay. So. I think that is pretty good. It's all kind of um, smashed up. Now we will cut it into um, diagonals on the diagonal slices. Oh, it says one, one inch pieces. So. Mine's are too small. Okay. Okay, and we'll pull it, put it in a colander. <coughs> it does get a little messy, but it does taste good. the colander into a bowl and then we'll add the salt and mix it up and the salt will draw out the water. So we just give it a pass and then we'll put it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes to draw out the water. And then we will make the um, sauce. We will now make the dressing for the cucumber salad. We'll start with two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil. Two tablespoons rice wine vinegar. Half a teaspoon of shoyu. Half a teaspoon of honey. Not much honey here. Out here, put it in the dressing. Mix it a little. Oops, no, don't want to come out. So that's the honey. One tablespoon of cochineal fermented chili paste, and I think you can find this in the um, Asian food market. And then. Some of the sesame seeds. We'll save some for putting on top of the salad after it's all made, and then some green beans. Okay, and then we will whisk, whisk this all together to make the sauce. Let me paste this somewhat thick. Stir it around. Let me add more cochucho sauce. Um, we like. And 
that there be vegetables we drink the water from the cucumbers we'll add the cucumbers to this dressing and then it's just about done it's been 15 minutes since the cucumbers have been in the refrigerator and now we will um, pack the cucumbers dry and then put it in a bowl and i realized that some of the cucumbers um, are kind of large so i cut some to be more um, bite-sized pieces I'll, you can use a paper towel or a tea cloth, and I have a tea cloth here. I'll just um, put the cucumbers and I'll pat them dry, and I'll put it in a serving bowl. This is to get the water out of the cucumbers. I'm not going to use the sauce, I'll just pat it dry. I'll put it in. Looks like the English cucumber got smashed more and it's um, more smashed. So maybe the next time I, if I use a regular cucumber, I will maybe peel some of the skin before um, smashing it. Lunch. You're supposed to make smashed cucumber salad or something. Smashed cucumber salad. Or smash cucumber something. I'll describe the uh, water that comes out of it. Then we will pour the sauce over. Cucumbers. I should have mixed it in the mixing bowl with this. I think I prematurely added the little onion and the sesame. Although I don't think it would matter. We'll toss the cucumbers in the dressing. And then we'll add the remaining. And sesame seeds on top of the salad. And this is the smashed cucumber salad. This is the smashed cucumber salad with spicy cochajong dressing. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Okay, I'll stop sharing. Okay, um, those are the two videos, and I'm gonna um, give me a little um, time because I want to go back to my PowerPoint presentation because I have some other recipes to share with you. Okay, which I need help. <laughs> well, open up PowerPoint. Oh, it's on my thing. I gotta go to the, oh, I gotta go to office. Oh, okay. 365. Okay, this way. This one. This one. Okay, there. Now what? Where's the recipes? Oh, it's it's. Oh, it's on that. It's on this. One. Yeah, it's on the seat. It's okay, on. We gotta get that in the slideshow then. You can go down to where it is. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, this one right here. Okay, so now get your slideshow going. The slideshow. Mm, slideshow. Oh, current salad. This one. Make sure you click in a corner because some of your clicks may not be taken. Oh, current salad. Oh, 
right there. Okay. Okay. Now lower right corner. No, no, no. Scroll to the lower right corner. Oh, can you zoom? Then click. Yeah, you can just click on the zoom window. Mm -hmm. And then share screen. Share screen. And then this one. You ask if they. You are sharing screen. Okay, I have to do. I'm always like unmuted. How? How do I? Oh, it's way up here. No. Go down. Go down. You're good. You're unmuted. Oops. I'm unmuted. Oh, okay. Yeah, and can you see? Can you see um a document that says measuring vegetables? Yes. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Um, I just included um this table of measuring vegetables because some of the recipes I came across it had like what's like a pound of like say celery or a pound of cucumbers. And so I thought this was a nice guide. So I'm just sharing this one. And um, there's another page, which how do I get to the next page? How do we get to the next one? This one? Oh, okay, some more vegetables. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is the recipe for the mixed vegetable pickles, the first um, video that I showed. And then this is the recipe for the second um, smashed cucumber salad with spicy kochujang dressing um, recipe that I shared with. And the ingredients are 68 Persian cucumbers or one to two English cucumbers. And I thought, oh, I'll try English cucumber and a regular cucumber. And I think um, sticking to the English cucumbers would probably be better or peeling some of the skin off of the regular cucumber. And it says to slice it like one inch slices, but I think um, I, if I were to make, when I make it again, I'll cut it a little bit smaller. So um, it's more into bite-sized pieces. But that was really simple to um, make and my family enjoyed it. And here's the directions. And then these are, I have a couple of other recipes um, I got from my mom that she makes and people seem to like it. It says cabbage o coco and Cucumber tsukemono. You can see the ingredients are kind of almost the same as the pickled vegetables. This cucumber tsukemono has sake in it, but all the other ingredients are kind of similar. And I think, okay, and I think um, that is all that I have for my presentation. Anybody has any questions or comments? So on your first recipe, how <laughs> many jars did you fill? Oh, I think I filled, well, at my jars, I use the, um, maybe so uh, the, quart? the quart, yeah. I think I filled about one, two, three, four, maybe four and a half jars um, of vegetables, yeah. And, um, my, after I learned from my mom that, you know, after you eat the vegetables in that um, mixed vegetable recipe, she said that you could reboil the sauce and then add vegetables in again, and it will pickle the vegetables. But she said you can do that only once, and then it will, you can't do it like a second time. So, so I tried that too for the first time and um, yeah, it's not as pickled, but it still tastes good. But yeah, we like this recipe because it's um, crunchy when you eat it, yeah. And it's not very um, strong vinegary, I guess, because it's got a lot of sugar. And even um, my little baby granddaughter, she enjoyed um, the cucumbers especially. So the and, other recipe, your cabbage one, what is that? You had oh, it on the slide. On the slide. Oh, yes, yeah, a cabbage o coco. It's like yeah. um, cabbage sukemono. I think it's, oh, okay. yeah, it's like cabbage sukemono. I didn't make that one, but my mom, um, when I asked her, when I mentioned to her that I was going to do this demo, she's, 
and I said, oh, do you have any other good recipes, you know, for um, tsukemono? And she shared me those two. So I thought I'd just share it with you also. And for the kochujang sauce, um, it's, it's this, um, I found this in the um, Asian food market and it comes in the tub and it's, it's very thick, but um, you can feel free to add more if you like spicy things. And I just keep this in the fridge. So but that was a recipe that my daughter had made once. And I thought, oh, this is really easy and it tastes good. So I thought, oh, I'm going to try to um, share it and for my demo. They look delicious. I might try some of them. Yeah, yeah, it's, it is pretty simple. And the pickled vegetables, it's, um, yeah, once again, my mom makes that quite frequently and she gives it away to people and they all say, oh, can I have the recipe? So, yeah. And it's pretty simple. I like it because it, the, the most time consuming thing is probably cutting up the vegetables. I like to cut it up like bite size. You could leave it like the cauliflower, you can use, leave it big, but it won't um, soak in as much. And it's harder, for me, it's harder to eat. I like it little bite-sized pieces. So it just takes time chopping up the vegetables. But once that's done, the sauce is really simple to make. Well, it's less expensive to make your own than to buy it at the store. Right, yeah, uh-huh. And you can use, you know, um, vegetables that your family likes. And um, so, yeah, we like cauliflower. Um, so we use a lot of cauliflower and we've tried it with broccoli also, but the broccoli kind of changes color and it's not very appealing. So I haven't um, um, included broccoli in um, when I make the mixed pickled vegetables. I was just going to say, I'll, I'll try broccoli, but since you say it changes color, okay. I, I won't yeah, it's not, it's not as pretty green. You know, like when you blanch broccoli, it has like that nice green color. Green. Yeah, this one is kind of like, mm, that's broccoli. Mm, nah, nah, not, not, that's okay. Yeah. Celery is good. It stays that green mm -hmm. color and carrots um, too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I hope, um, yeah, some of you will try the recipes and will enjoy it. Try the recipes and then share it with um, Denise on Echo. Then we can have some uh -huh. feedback. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Any other questions, comments? Well, thank you, Sue. Um, I oh, know you put a whole lot of work and you were stressed because of your computer. Oh, yeah. Good job. But you did a good job. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, thank you for your help, too. I thank appreciate you. it. Yeah. 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 yeah my, my daughter put all of the wording on the recipes. Because I said, uh, you can do uh, whatever I get. She did, she took the video with her um, iPhone because we were going to do initially, my other daughter has a webcam and a microphone oh. that we we're going to use with our computer to um, make a video, but our computer died. And, and so <laughs> when we don't have a new computer yet, and so like, okay, we can't do that. And then I, then my daughter says, oh, I'll just do it with my iPhone. I said, okay, that's fine. And then that's he all. edited the video. And so I said, oh, that is so much better because, you know, if I were to have a live demo, it would take so much time, all the unnecessary, you know, in between <laughs> things and whatnot. Yeah. And so I said, oh, I think this will work much better. So thank you for your patience and, um, Thank you for your hard work. Jeez. <laughs> Thank you. This is the first time I saw um, the Smash Cucumber video also. <laughs> so I didn't know she added some of those comments. <laughs> Susan, this yeah. is Pat. Yeah. Annie has shared the um, recipe, not the recipe, but the pickled mm -hmm. vegetables with me, uh -huh. and they are delicious. So thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Good. Yeah. She, yeah, she makes it quite frequently and shares it with a bunch of her friends. So, yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Hi, Sue. This is Martha. Oh, yes. Hey, Hi, Martha. Martha. She's Hi, I really enjoyed, 
I really enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. Please take your daughter. Oh, okay. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Nice, nice.